So why is additive manufacturing and medical uh, merged together? And why has the medical industry been interested in um, additive manufacturing for quite some time? And we know that there are four mega trends in the world that support a steady increase in demand of medical products and care. One being um, a dem demographic change. So we have a longer life expectancy um, and a higher quality of life expectation for folks uh, who are older. We know that we're better connected to good healthcare infrastructure around the world and people uh, have increasing wealth. They're willing to pay for better healthcare. And in addition, uh, as you saw from our global presence, there's globalization in many markets, but also in healthcare. So we're able to, um, customers are able to access new markets in developing regions. And so they're wanting different solutions for different regions. And so this is several different ways why there's an increase for medical products, an increase to be able to serve our um, communities with better medical products going forward. And customers think that additive manufacturing can assist in this. So to just go a little bit into the advantages of additive manufacturing for those who may not be familiar. The first is a uh, increase in being able to manufacture complex shapes. Now this isn't exactly a medical example, but this is a, an example of um, part of an engine where you were able to reduce the weight significantly from 5.1 kilograms to 1.9 kilograms, thus meaning that you could reduce some cost. Second, since every object is created based on a CAD file, it's easy to customize individual objects. So you can tweak the design file rather having to adjust the entire part of the production process itself. So you can create individualized parts with customer specific adaptations. And then finally, additive manufacturing is able to incorporate functionality within an object, which allows you to cut down on the number of parts required to assemble a more complex piece. Sometimes this reduces weight, sometimes this reduces the amount of post-processing required to finish the component. And this example here is actually a um, centrifuge rotor that were able to reduce from 32 components in a redesign to three laser centered components and one steel ring. So those are the main reasons that people use additive manufacturing in the medical industry. And so the main biggest advantage is customization. And this is something that uh, customers have been interested in for many years. Um, and we know that there are several advantages for customization in medicine today for three different stakeholders you can see here. For a hospital, we know that cost of having patients in the facility uh, is very high. So if we're able to create a faster surgery to inc by increasing the patient throughput, then we're able to uh, reduce that cost burden on the hospital and then being able to translate that also to the patient in the healthcare system. We're able to decrease re-sterilization costs. If you don't have a full amount of instruments, then you don't necessarily um, need to be re-sterilizing that after each case. You just use a disposable instrument, which I'll show some examples of in just a second. And it could even be less uh, training required for the hospital staff if the instrumentation is simplified. For the surgeon, if they are able to use a simplified instrumentation, and that can give them a more precise surgery and a faster surgery, they're able to serve their patients much better. And for the patient, uh, this faster surgery means that they're gonna be under anesthesia for a less amount of time. So they'll be under, um, you know, asleep in the, in the OR for less time, could be a less invasive procedure, lower risk of revision, lower risk of infection if they're not in the procedure for as long, which can give them a shorter recovery and reduce post-operative pain. They can get back to their lives much faster. So the benefit to the patient is very large in some of these examples. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumb up. And if you'd like to have further information about educational content or other webinars from EOS, just click the links in the description box below. 
We hope to see you soon in one of our next videos. Until then, go and subscribe our channel. Bye!